In this video demonstration, again, we're going to be focusing on our landing gear assembly. But in this video, we'll have a look at generating our struct component. Again, I'll go through all the steps on, on how we can get this part accurately modeled in Creo. Let's head over and, and have a look at that. OK, guys, so before we head over to Creo, again, we're going to evaluate the engineering drawing for the lower strut component, and we'll see what basic shapes uh, that we need to worry about. So looking at it from you know, the, the top view here, we can see that we've got two diameters. So we've got this first diameter, so 8, that's going to be equivalent for this section here. And then the 11 uh, shows a step out. So there's a bit of a step at the bottom down here that that's going to be attached to. So they're fairly easy, aren't they? They're just going to be some cylinders. So this one, I need to extrude it up eight. And then this one's going to be 46. So that's going to be uh, there. So 46 minus eight. And so we're going to have, what, 36, uh, 38 there, 38, yeah. So we know that. So we can do an extrusion for that, extrusion for that to make the main you know, main body here. So that should be fairly straightforward. I think if we move on to the next section, what have we got? We've got, okay, so we've, we've got another circular section that basically comes across. So it's from a different plane this time. So we can see that it's diameter's five and it's just an extrusion out here to make that component. We know the position of it, so we know that it's four millimeters from the base to the center. So I think that one's going to be fairly straightforward as well, as long as we get the, the correct plane. And it's got a through, a through hole that goes through it. But again, we'll worry about the holes at the end, and there's a few rounds that, that we'll worry about right at the end as well. I think the next thing, next shape you could probably draw from this part is we've got one of these semicircle D shapes again. So if we have a look at drawing that, let's uh, change my pen tool. I want to do a different color. OK, why is it just doing that? There we go. So final color. So we're going to do this D shape here. OK, so we can do a D shape from the middle to the end bit there. So we know that the diameter is 5, and we know that the center point is 8 from center line of the shaft. So again, you can see we're going to break this down. We've got some circles. So it looks like we're going to have to do three circular sketches. And then there's going to be a D-shaped sketch. And we're going to extrude this component out by 10. OK, so we've got 10 there. Let me just change, show the, the extrusion for the green as well. If I go back to my green color, so the green part, we're going to have to extrude that one out 21. OK. So nothing too complicated. Let's head over and have a look how we can do that. OK, guys, let's head on over and open up Creo Parametric. So Creo Parametric. OK, let's close down the Resource Center, set our working directory. Don't want to lose those files. And then we go new parts. So we're going to be having a look at the lower strut. So that's ENGD005. Untick default template. Click OK. And then we're going to go down here and go to millimeters, part, solid abs. So units are all set. And so this one's fairly straightforward. It's a couple of uh, cylindrical extrusions, and then we need to generate a kind of a, just a, a D-shaped, backwards D-shaped extrusion as well. Um, so we'll start off generating the, the main body. And I'm going to do that from this top plane here. Click on Sketch. Let's go Sketch View. So we're going to use a method called a layer cake method. There are a couple of ways in which you can generate this, the main shaft for this component. You could revolve it if you wanted to. But for this exercise, I'm just going to use the layer cake method. So you build it up like a tiered cake. That's where it gets its name from. OK, so this is going to be 11. OK, 
Okay, and then we need to extrude this. So that's going to be eight. Okay, and then we're going to click on the top face here. So sketch, sketch view, circle. And then this circle is going to be eight. Click OK, and then we're going to extrude. And uh, so the total height of the component is going to be 46 minus eight for this section. Okay, so we've got the main central section complete. There's a piece that comes through the side. So what we need to do now is select one of the side planes. So what's that? That's the right plane, that will do. Click sketch, sketch view. And we just need to draw a circle here now. So we'll snap to this center reference and draw a circle out. Um, what's the diameter? Okay, so from the drawing, it's five and it's got a height of four, okay. So I'm gonna click okay there. And then we need to extrude this out 21 millimeters. So click extrude. You see this one, it's actually trying to remove the material. So I want to add the material. So I'm gonna untick that, change it to symmetric and change that to 21. Okay. Looking good so far. Um, we're gonna click on that same plane again. So we're gonna click back on that right plane. Uh, go sketch, sketch view. And we've got a bit that sticks out in kind of a backwards D shape around here. Um, so let's do that. So let's add a circle here. So the height for this is four. Diameter is five and the distance is eight. Okay. And we need to just join that up to the midpoint here. So we're gonna use a line, join that up there, join that up to there and then there. Okay. And then we can delete the segment. Uh, there's a through hole fr in this component as well. So let's add that in at this stage. So that's 1.5. All right, that looks good. We can go extrude now. Again, it's just extruding one side, so we'll tell it how far it needs to be extruded. So it needs to go 10, and we need this to be symmetric. Okay, looking good. I'm gonna click OK. And now it's a case of adding in our rounds. So it looks like from the engineering drawing that it's an R1 typical. So that means that it's just a, an R1 radius along some of these edges. Okay, so let's go round one. Let's go just here. Three. There you go. I want to add them round there as well. Perfect. Let's change the view so we're shading with edges so we can see everything. Looking good. As per the drawing. So the final thing is just a hole that goes through here. So I'm actually going to use the hole tool for this one. Use something different. So click on the hole tool. It's a simple hole. The diameter is 2.5. And it's going to be through all. And so what I need to do is give it the axis that it's going to be going through. So I'm going to click on this axis here, and then I'm going to press control, click on the surface for it to break. Okay, so I've got the axis and the surface. You can see that it's now going all the way through that component for us. Okay. That looks like the component's complete. Let's check the volume. So we go to analysis, measure, Volume, so 303.5, perfect. Just as the engineering drawing depicts. All right, let's change the color. View, appearance, model more appearance. Let's change this. So it kind of, a, yeah, let's go yellowy, okay. 
close and then just change that to um, hang on, I need to click on the ball, change it to part, and then middle mouse click. Okay, so it's like a yellowy green colour at the moment. Now uh, we can hide the date and planes just so you can have a nice look at it. And let's make sure that we save that part. Okay. Okay, that's the lower struck component completed. Good luck.